All right, guys, it's Boy Inner Jack here, and we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Um, I know I'm a little late on this, but you know, bear with me. I'm getting to every unit that I can. Uh, we're gonna be showcasing our boy LR Majin Vegeta. Now, to be fair, I actually haven't used this guy a lot. Um, I haven't really gotten a chance to. Really, I think I can take him to like Pierce Hands ESBR maybe, and probably like fish for stuns with that, and just check him out there. But um. You know, he is easy 8 on Global. He's been easy 8 for about a month now. And, um, we can finally go ahead and see what he looks like. Um, this will obviously be it. He's rainbow. I have him rainbowed. Link level 10 and all that. Um, I actually didn't give him equips. I probably should go give him equips. But, uh, I think this Majin Vegeta is definitely not as bad as people think he is. Um, he's definitely runnable on some of these teams, right? The problem is that... Okay, so he has, like, just 150% 150, 150 defense, like, start a turn. He has no other source of defense um, besides the Kid Trunks restriction that he gets uh, when there's a Kid Trunks on a team. And he also needs a Boma on the team to get damage reduction, which um, on JP, they recently just released a Vegeta and Boma unit. But that unit sucks. Uh, so, like, like, where are you going to find a Boma on these teams? Um, there is the physical Boma, who's actually really good, but I don't think she shares any teams with this Vegeta. Um, I'll, I'll try to find one, like, in this video, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I'm pretty sure she shares no teams with this Vegeta at all. So, it's, like, impossible to get that restriction. But, um, other than that, I will say this Majin Vegeta does hit pretty hard. He is an AoE on his 18 key. And his 12 key, you know, he always hit harder on his 12 key. Because it has the Mega Colossal Multiplier. But his 18 key is an AoE. And they both have a medium chance of stun. Um, another thing is, I think this Majin Vegeta oftentimes will be firing off 18 key super attacks. Or, you know, getting 17 key very easily. Um, I would say without any complaint or restriction. Yeah, like, I, I think it's very free. Very free. For them to be uh, firing off, like... 17 keys and 24 keys very often um now i would say one of his common restrictions is that he has to have a goku on the team or be fighting a goku uh, he gets two key and a 20 percent crit chance that's really good that's really good because goku is obviously on a lot of his teams on a lot of his uh you know lead stuff like that uh we're start actually starting to turn with 245k defense um, this is a lot of support, uh, do keep in mind he has, like, every restriction active. Um, I'm actually gonna float Kid Boo off, because next turn, I believe, we can get every Link active. Uh, I'm gonna go for the 17 key here, no need to AoE. Um, this is what, uh, 80% support? Only one Link active, let's see what he does here. This is gonna get very hard, by the way, because he's a unit that gets his attack buff on super attack. Yeah, six, yeah, six mil. Um, just a casual six mil, right? And remember, he can just do that for free. Like he doesn't like. It, yeah, this is Giga Wank, but keep in mind he can fire out like what? If this wasn't with support, it'd probably be like five mil. He could do like five mil attack stats with no links active, for free, right? So do keep that in mind. That is one good thing that I'll say about that unit. It, it is... He, he, Majin Vegeta is very, very consistent in terms of damage. For sure. His damage never fluctuates. Um, unlike a certain easy A LR that we know. Like Ink Gohan, for example. I definitely think Majin Vegeta is better than Ink Gohan. I would say the only thing Ink Gohan has over Majin Vegeta is he has slightly more defense. Um, he also has more teams that he can be ran on, obviously. Because Ink Gohan is not restricted to anything. But... Uh, for the most part, I do see myself using Majin Vegeta a lot more. Maybe for, like, Super Battle Royale content. Or even World Tournament. <laughs> like, I see myself using Majin Vegeta way more than I see myself using, you know, uh, Gohan. So. <clears throat> Alright, this turn we should definitely have all links active, I believe. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we do. Uh, 210k defense, so his defense dropped a little bit, but he has everything active except legendary power. Uh, oh no, the cord. Yeah, yeah, 210k, 210k defense, everything active except legendary power, which is fine. Um, 
I don't want Tech Mondo to do that. Actually, kill him. Uh, I'm gonna just get one orb. I don't think Tech Mondo will do will kill him. Uh, unfortunately. Dude, we can't we can't even get the 17 key, so we might as well just go for the 18 key here. Um, it, it, <laughs> Majin Vegeta has no key problems. That is a really good thing. His key is very, very good, very good. Um, there's no issue with his key at all. all right, he's like auto supering every single turn so far that we've seen him. Every single turn he's just been able to auto super. Oh my God, dude, what? This Majin Vegeta did three. I only gave him one orb. <laughs> Dude, all right. Hopefully he doesn't crit on this. Okay. Yeah, he has six mil AOE. Like, I, this module is definitely good. He's a lot better. He's not fodder. People think he's fodder. He's not fodder. Um, he's definitely very good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and test him out on Vegeta family. We'll see how he looks there. Uh, Vegeta family, he won't be able to get all of his passive active, but I'll fight a Goku. All right, we're back over here on the, the, the Vegeta family team. Um, as you can see, we don't have Kid Trunks on the team. So his defense actually dropped to 184K. Um, I, now, I want to be, I want to say two things, right? One, he is on a double 150 lead, right? So I think on a double 170 lead, he would be at 200K defense here. To be completely fair, I really do think he'd be at 200k defense. Actually, I'm going to go into a different event just to test that out with this, like, similar setup. I just want to see if he's actually at 200k. Because this is a setup you can probably run. That Xeno Vegeta, his defense is low, but he greatly stacks, right? So he's actually pretty good. Everybody knows Super Vegeta is, you know, good. I don't know about running him in slot one, but he is good, right? Um... So I want to say Majin Vegeta is at the 200k mark, but like he definitely should be better than that, right? He's an LR easy guy. He should have way more defense star turn at 200k. He doesn't even raise his defense on super attack or anything like that. So yeah, his defense should definitely be higher. Um, it doesn't matter where I put him. He's just gonna auto 18. Like that, that is one very that is one very good thing about Majin Vegeta. He's auto 18 king no matter what, right? Uh, we have. Uh, four links active here. That, that, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, that Xeno Vegeta does have shattering the limit, and um, some other Vegeta links. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. We are fighting a Goku too, so keep that in mind. He does have a crit chance on his turn. Uh, so well, let me see. This is forty percent support, right? Uh, five mil basically. Basically, a five mil tax stat. Uh, yeah, without that kid trunks, his damage dropped, but five mil AOE is. That's good. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what else you want me to tell you. Like that's that's definitely good. Um, let's try to get revival Vegeta. I believe revival Vegeta has Sand Pride, right? Sand Pride, legendary power, uh, Sand Warrior race. I believe that's what they share. Yeah, let's try to get revival Vegeta on rotation with them. See, I would think that rotation would actually be good if revival Vegeta had his defense turn one instead of on super. That rotation wouldn't be that bad because um, you can go into super battle road, have revival Vegeta super attack, and then like Majin Vegeta just cleans up because he's an AOE, right? Like that'd, that'd be really, that'd be a really good rotation. Or alternatively, if Majin Vegeta actually had good defense slot one, you could put him in slot one, uh, let him AOE super, stun a couple of people, and then let Majin Vegeta finish off whoever he didn't stun, potentially. Like that, that yeah, that'd be a good setup. The only issue is Majin Vegeta doesn't have good teeth internally. Um, yeah, he's just auto 18 key. I, you literally cannot stop this guy from doing that. Um, there's nothing, like there's there's nothing you can do to stop him from 18 key super. God, Zeno Vegeta's defense jumped up by so much. Uh, we're not gonna get 24 key, but we'll get close enough. Dude, I have to get. I'm trying to get his his fucking uh, twelve key in here, but we can't. You, you, we actually can't. Like his his key mechanic is too good, dude. He just auto eighteen keys. Okay, five point six mil. That was with double support. Um, it's only what is that sixty five percent support that he's in there. So it's not it's not like eighty percent or something like that, but it is a lot. Um, it, it was a lot. It was a lot. 
Uh, try to make Vegeta not super challenge impossible, I guess. Uh, Super G is just gonna end this Dokkan event. Not much I can do here. Yeah, I think the event is over. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Um, like I said, we didn't. God damn, dude. Vegeta, could you take enough damage? This is a Dokkan event. I know you're a slot 2 unit, but Jesus Christ. Uh. Okay, yeah, my Vegeta is 55%, so maybe he doesn't kill him. But maybe he does not. Okay. Well, <laughs> I forgot you can't bring that guy in the showcases. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and look at him on another team, and we will come right back. All right, we're back. I'm running him on the Super Saiyan 2 team. I believe uh, Majin Vegeta is 170 in the all stats of Super Saiyan 2. Yeah, he is. Um, well, Majin Vegeta didn't transform here, but it's fine. We can kind of stall the event out. We can finally see his 17 key. Um... <laughs> Or his 12 key, I guess. Uh, will this be enough? Yeah. You can finally see his 12 key. This is unsupported. Uh, he only has four links active here. Yeah, it's only four. Um, Defense, not even that high. 166. That Yeah, that's just not good enough. Um, For somebody even unsupported, that's not. Like, that's not really good enough. Right? <laughs> I, 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 I do think this modern Vegeta, people give him a little bit. Too much. Uh, 4.5 mil, by the way. Uh, no, no support. That, that, that's just free damage. Yeah, he, he shoots out these free damage attack sets, but his defense is not like uh, we kind of need a little bit better from him. <laughs> not even a little bit. We need a lot better from him. To be honest. Uh, yeah. Why don't we get this in there? I don't really see. I don't. I don't get to see this Vegeta that often. Can go ahead and get the active skill in. Yeah, I don't get to use this Vegeta that often. I probably should use him for my other World Warriors mission for LV for the no item, but I don't know, man. That that mission is so fucking annoying, dude. He's at 186k D. Remember, this guy gets all of his defense based on the amount of orbs he gets. <laughs> That's actually pretty fucking high. <laughs> For that Angel Vegeta there. Yeah, 8.5 mil. Yeah, he, he can still do pretty good damage. Defense is probably like almost 300k on this turn. Oh, oh, okay. All right, Majin Vegeta. I mean, go ahead. Not Majin Vegeta, Angel Vegeta. You are number one, though. Vegeta. Okay, this would be a pretty good turn for Majin Vegeta. Now he's going to have every Link active except Legendary Power. Again, with support on a 170. Like. Yeah, this should be really good. Really good. Ooh, okay. He's almost at 200k. He's actually just at 200k. Um, To be fair, Gohan does not get 40% support. He gets 35. So if I had Xeno Vegeta here instead... Or just any 40% support. He'd be at 200k defense. So that's kind of good, kind of not. He's like barely scratching the surface of 200k. Um, That's, I, I mean, that's not bad, right? That's that's not bad. Because there's no Kid Trunks on this team. So we know if Kid Trunks was here, it would be well over 200k. Right? He'd be at like 230. Um, That's, yeah, you know what? That's, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm not going to give him like slack for that or anything like that um that that is that does confirm what i thought though um if he was on a 170 lead on that vegeta family team he'd be at 200k actually i think this Majin vegeta is gonna be a lot better when we get like a vegeta family like 200 percent lead because like he he just needs a little bit more to push him over that oh you know he's actually fine mark all right, to push him over that 200k mark. He just did a 5.7 AOE, by the way. Uh, very good. 20% chance to crit. He did not crit. Um, that's fine. But um, I think that Majin Vegeta with a 200% leader skill would actually be, like, really good. He, he'd actually, yeah. That He is a unit that would definitely, like, he just needs a little bit more. And he's actually, like, you know, very, very good. 
So I would say with a 200% leader school, that could actually revive that unit. Um, for sure. For sure. Like, uh, yeah, I, after seeing, like, after doing this showcase, I would definitely say that a 200% leader school could definitely revive Majin Vegeta. I think Majin Vegeta would definitely be, uh, people would start to appreciate him a little bit more if he had a 200% leader school. Um, we will see. I mean, a lot of people speculating that Majin Vegeta is going to get a 200% leader school during the, uh, uh, March Dokkan Fest because uh, this guy, this guy's easy aim during that Dokkan Fest. I already started link loving him, by the way. But um, well, we know he's easy aim in March. So uh, let me know what you guys think. This was the Rainbow Link Level 10 showcase for Majin Vegeta. I'll probably do a Super Battle Road video on him and maybe a God of Him video, I guess. Uh, I think you can run him in the God of It because Kid Trunks is definitely, you know, runnable in the God of It for sure. But um, let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.